What up? What's good? Beasy. And welcome back to my kitchen. And today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make my raw vegan layered cheesecake, man. My raw vegan layered cheesecake. You heard that right? Yeah, that's right. Now this cheesecake is gonna have nothing to do with cheese, man. It's gonna be 100% raw, 100% vegan, 100% delicious, man. It's going down right now. So if y'all ready, stay tuned, let's get it. To start off, we're gonna make the base layer of the cheesecake. All you're gonna need are dates, almonds, macadamia nuts, a tad bit of sea salt, some cinnamon, and a food processor. Let's go. First step is to add your almonds and macadamia nuts to a food processor. Then just go ahead and pulse it till they're broken down and form a sandy texture. Then you're gonna wanna add your dates, just a tad bit of sea salt, just a little bit, and some cinnamon. Now I quickly realized that my food processor is much too small for this job. So I went ahead and got a blender and added the rest of my dates. You know, just mix it in a little bit and then just pulse it till it's all combined and sticking together, man. Yeah, the struggle's real just a little bit, but you know, we're making it work, man. We're working what we got and it's gonna taste delicious regardless. You'll know it's ready when everything is well combined and it's sticking together on its own. The last step for the base layer is get you a cake tin lined with some parchment paper, or if you don't have parchment paper, you could use a little bit of coconut oil and just transfer the dough into the bottom of the cake tin and press it down really, really firmly. Make sure it's really even you know, this is the base layer of the cheesecake, so you're gonna wanna make sure your base layer is really solid, really even, so that the rest of the cake can be solid and even as well. Here's what mine looks like after I pressed everything down really well. And so now you're just gonna wanna pop it in the freezer and let it chill while we make the cheesecake layer, man. Here's all you will need for the cheesecake layer. I got about two cup of soaked cashews. You know I let them soak overnight. Same with the dates, I let those soak overnight. I got two frozen bananas, my good old blender, some lemon juice, just a tad bit of pink salt, some plant-based milk, and some vanilla extract, man. That's it, let's go. So just go ahead and add all your ingredients to your blender. And I'll have all the specific measurements to everything in the description below. My blender's really getting the workout today, man. As you can see, I gotta work in steps. But you know, just add everything to your blender. Blend it all up till it's nice and smooth and creamy. And just go ahead and taste it. Make sure all the flavors are to your liking. And you'll be good, man. I thought my filling needed a little bit more sweetness, so I went ahead and added about two tablespoons of raw agave syrup, but you can use any liquid sweetener of your choice. Finally, take the base layer out of the freezer and then pour the filling into the base, making sure it's real smooth and even. You know, give it a couple shakes, a couple taps, and then pop it back in the freezer while we make the top layer. For this final top layer is going to be real simple, man. What you're going to need is two cups of berries. I got a mix of blueberries and blackberries. Full of anthocyanins, good for my brain. But feel free to use whatever berries you please. As well as two more frozen bananas and a food processor. That's it, man. On to the final layer. Let's go. All right, man. I'm definitely realizing that it's about time to get a much larger food processor. But this top layer is really simple, you know, you're just going to want to blend up your bananas and berries until they become real thick, creamy, and silky.
work in steps if you have to like I do, man. But you know the story of the tortoise and the hare? Slow and steady wins the race. And your taste buds will most definitely be winning this race. After your banana berry mixtures blended up real nicely, grab your cheesecake out of the freezer and just pour the berry mixture on top of the cheesecake, smoothing it out with a wooden spoon or a spatula, forming a nice even layer on top of everything. That's what mine's looking like after I smoothed everything out. Now it's time to have a little bit of fun and decorate it, man, let's go. I chose to cut up a couple strawberries, chop a couple bananas, sprinkle a little shredded coconut on there. But you know, this is a time to have fun, man. Be creative, put whatever you like on there. Then pop it back in the freezer one more time before you cut it up and enjoy it. So there you have it, y'all. That is how you make my raw, vegan, layer, cheesecake. You know what I mean? My way, the beezy way. The only way I know how, man. This is really enjoyable, man. It looks great. It tastes great. It's great for you. Matter of fact, let me get a taste, man. Let me get a taste right now. Let me grab a spoon. I got my slice right here. Looking beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Let me get a let me get a little taste for y'all. Get all the layers in there, man. Mm -mm -mm. Tastes so fresh, man. This is great. This is a great cheesecake you can bring to any party, any social gathering, you know. <laughs> it's great for you, looks great, tastes great, health never tastes so good man, become your greatest version through food today. Other than that, it's been busy, hope y'all keep it easy, and I'll catch y'all up man, peace.